The Myth of American Inequality, How Government Biases Policy Debate, is a provocative examination that challenges the established narrative surrounding income inequality and economic well-being in the United States. Authored by Phil Graham, a former United States Senator, along with a distinguished economist and a former senior leader at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the book re-evaluates the way government statistics portray economic disparities. It suggests that these official figures, often cited in policy debates, significantly overstate the level of income inequality. The authors advocate for a more accurate representation of economic well-being, arguing that the currently prevalent notion of a growing income inequality crisis is not only misleading, but also obscures the reality of improved living standards in America. They embark on a detailed analysis of how economic data is collected, interpreted, and used in shaping public perception and policy. Through an insightful critique of these methodologies, the book posits that the American dream is still achievable and is very much alive. By scrutinizing and correcting what they perceive as inaccuracies in official economic statistics, Graham and his co-authors reveal that income inequality is, in fact, lower today than at any point since the post-World War II era. This assertion stands in contrast to widespread beliefs perpetuated by policy advocates across the political spectrum who argue that inequality poses a significant threat to American society. In essence, the myth of American inequality dismantles the conventional wisdom around economic disparities by providing clear evidence that paints a more optimistic picture of the nation's economic health. The authors contend that once the biases in government data reporting are recognized and rectified, the diversity and robustness of America's economy become evident, portraying a vigorous picture of economic opportunity and growth. Through this critical lens, the book contributes to an important conversation on how statistics influence political dialogue and public policy in contemporary America. You can buy this book by following the URL in the description.